My name is Liz West and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for having the biggest Spice Girls collection in the world. I see this as like the story of my life. I very vividly remember sneaking up to my bedroom and the Spice Girls had just been announced as being number one. I'd never heard so much energy before and I was just instantly gripped. I started collecting memorabilia as soon as they launched onto the pop scene, so that was 1996. For me, the way to become closer to my idols was to begin this collection. The more I had, the, it meant the bigger fan I was. Any Spice Girl fan will know that if you collected the pink ring pulls, you could send off for a limited edition Spice Girls CD. We all remember Jerry wearing those in cans. Oh my God, I have to show you this. Mel B is gonna sing to become one. No, she's not. I'll always be buying just that those one or two things that just keeps me up there. Because once you've got a Guinness World Record, you don't want to let go of it. To have costumes that they wore as a fan is, is like the ultimate. It's because they've been photographed in it and because they've sung your favourite song wearing it and because their energy has been present in their bodies when they've worn it. It's just about having the very fabric that touched their bodies. I have the Guinness World Record, that is a fact. I am the biggest collector. Seeing it all out, you just think, wow, you know, I have all this stuff. This belongs to me, no one else. There are other fans out there, you know, they've seen that I've got fame from my collection, you know, I've appeared on the television, I've met the girls, the girls know who I am and they think, oh, I want that. It's caused rifts and it's caused bullying, but it's also caused so much joy as well. I think I'll always be a fan. When you fall in love with something so passionately, it's very hard to fall out. They've taught me a lot about confidence and determination and to be the person who I want to be. The Spice Girls mean everything to me. One day it would be amazing to see it on permanent display in a museum. Now, whether that's me that has to set up that museum somewhere or whether I would um, donate it to a museum in my will, that is yet to be a decision that I have to make. I've come to London uh, for the launch of my Ripley's Spice Girl exhibition, which opens tonight. It's really magical for me to see it as a collector out on mannequins, how it should be. <laughs> Let me at it. Wow. It's kind of unbelievable that it's all mine. I want it in my house like this. <laughs> that would be amazing. I've always had a vision of having a room where I have it that I could just come and secretly go in and just potter. Well, this is it. This is like being in that dream. There's certain things that I kind of want to tweak just to protect the items. There's a few things that, like I've seen photos that are like the wrong way around. Maybe just like there's some, like the bubble wrap just needs like pushing down. Oh uh, yeah. Ah, that postcard's the wrong way. <laughs> now those are the glitter boots that go with that costume. Yeah. But it's quite nice, doesn't, doesn't matter. I wish I was a Spice Girl. That would have been really fun, wouldn't it? photographs, signatures, t-shirts, key rings, costumes, stationery, spice that's crisp, drinks, body spray, sweets, chocolate, award discs, promotional items, Spice Girls drinks, Spice Girls lollies, Spice Girls impulse, Spice Girls cameras, Spice Girls... If you wanna be my lover